Hi, I'm Karen Gibbs, Creative Director of Banyan Boutiques by Northcott, and I'm going over the winter release, winter 2022. And this collection, Roundabout, shifts to stores in September of 2022. Kind of, for me, it reminds me of quilting season, I guess. Uh, guilds go back. Um, we start we start to go back to school all of that kind of thing and it kind of feels like we we breathe and we we start to embrace our favorite hobby of quilting uh, so roundabout is all about the colors um, the purples and the blues and the aquas and a touch of citrus green that just we love as quilters favorite color palette by far I think for quilters and I wanted to try a couple different things. Um, one thing being the stripe, the, the main print or the featured design is actually a zigzag kind of stripe. It goes length of fabric. And you can see we've hand painted the colors of the uh, stripe on it. So it does have that stripe effect. And then we've got a zigzag uh, chop that we've used on it. Now, what can you use that for? You can use it for borders. Fantastic project in here by Bound to Be Quilting in the lookbook. Make sure you check it out. It's got one of the zigzags on the border and you can, you can see that. Um, I also thought maybe it would be great uh, for stack and whack quilts. Normally you don't think of batiks for a stack and wax, right? Because you're looking for the repeat in the fabric. Why couldn't you use a zigzag or something like that for a stack and wet quilt? All right, let's look at some of the prints in it. Why roundabout? Roundabout, kind of, we're um, thinking about, you know, those roundabouts you get stuck on when you're driving, okay? It's all about that kind of feel, the motion of it. We put some of the Caton in here, um, and we've got just some interesting kind of filigree patterns, but also dots, amazing dots. I, as a quilter, love my batik dots. I use them all the time, and it's a matter of changing it up and applying the color in a different way. If you'll notice, in this one right here, in these dots, if I cut up a four inch square, um, I'm gonna get all of the colors within that four inch square. So it's a certain way of applying color, right? Um, again, the filigree kind of look, and this is just such a dainty, dainty look. And I've applied all of the color changes in this one in the motif, and left the background just a little bit more of almost a shadows or an essential look, okay? And a beautiful, beautiful interlocking floral. Very delicate, pretty. A lot of times with batiks, we don't think necessarily of pretty. We think of shots of color, right? Or very strong earth tones. And it's very hard to get a delicate look in a batik. And I think we've achieved that with the Roundabout Collection. Love, love, love this particular one um, with the floral and a little bit of the dots in there. And like I said, here is that zigzag, right? All right, so this is the my favorite. My favorite zigzag by far, okay, with the gray. Something a little bit different, a bold shot of color. We've got an, a nice, beautiful, soft pastel, um, again, with that floral. Instead, with this one, what I've done is put the, the background is more of a multi, right? Again, if you do a four inch square, you're gonna get all of the color in there. Put some of the BFFs, um, make sure you check out the BFFs, they're fantastic. Again, delicate, really delicate line work right here with the chops. Now remember, these are pieces of copper that they've molded to um, uh, meet my design, right? So it's a very delicate process um, and they've achieved such a nice rounded look. So that's the chop designer or the chop maker who has achieved that, really proud of that the dots again and we've got a little bit of a floral going on a soft background okay a dots there remember i said something about a zigzag love the gray zigzag love that is a ground and this one has almost a glow to it can you see right here okay it almost have, has a glow so this one is one of those that when you see it on a bolt in this store you're going to gravitate towards it because it glows and how did we achieve that coloration well, we made sure to pick three to four, maybe five or six colors for just the motif, okay? So when we apply the color, it goes all the way light, right? It goes to almost white, and that gives kind of a glow effect to that particular batik, right? We've got dots, and the color behind it is where the multi is applied. Again, a soft, beautiful purple, all right? And that floral is wonderful. I put the shadows in there because it gives such an impact of color, all right? 
And then of course, the deep, rich turquoise aqua with the purple with the great color. I like this aqua on the background um, of the zigzag too. So where did the color uh, variation or the hand painted stripe, where was that applied? That was applied in the motif. So we hand painted the stripe on and then we put the wax on for the motif and then we applied the background. So it's a little bit backwards inside than what we're used to. And you can see the color variation in just even the purple on this particular one. All right, the projects in here for Roundabout are fantastic. We have um, two and a half inch strips, mini bundles of two and a half inch strips um, that we're offering with the Roundabout. Um, but I love this particular uh, project, the Eye of the Beholder one, just uses a few fabrics, but just a fantastic impact. Um, if you haven't seen her work, oh my goodness, definitely check this out. Okay, and we've got a couple different ones using different um, color palettes based on the colorways, um, a tra more a traditional kind of look. And then we also have something a little bit, I think, more contemporary. And if you look at this one here, we've used um, the classics or the pastel classics as the background on that particular project. There's that gray stripe. Did I mention I love that stripe? All right, and here, this one uses the pre-cuts or the two and a half inch strips. So you need just a few uh, bolts of fabric and the pre-cut strips to do a sampler. That's a wonderful way to get some new beginners um, into uh, the quilting projects, but it's also a wonderful way to kit up um, a sampler kind of quilt, okay? So this is roundabout and it kicks off in September. Wonderful way, do a, um, a cute little sampler project for your newbies or your new quilters. Um, do it with some of the pre-cut strips and a few bolts of fabric and you're all set.